And over there, my name is Kedemoro. Welcome back for another video of Old World. That's right, another video. It's been a while since we've played this game. I've actually done one Let's Play before on this game when it ca actually came out uh, a year ago or something. A year or two years ago, I uh, did a video on it. Really fantastic game. I've been playing it on and off uh, ever since then. Uh, but um, there is has been a new update to the game. Actually, two new updates. Uh, there's an update. There's actually ca uh, an actual campaign now. There's two campaigns. There's a campaign for Carthage, uh, which seems fun. But there's a new campaign, which the latest one is for Rome. So there's a campaign for Rome as well. I've added a few mods here and there, boys. Uh, I can play as goal and everything. So you're going to see it's going to be super fun. I'm excited. Let's jump on it. We already know what it's all about. So we got some scenarios. Scenarios are exactly what you think they are. So these are the campaigns really quick. So let's go and ju jump into them. We got a four campaigns in total. So we got the Rise of Carthage, three of them. And we got the Barbarian Horde right there, boys. So that's very interesting. So we got all of these. So uh, Rise of Rome is the latest one. Uh, we got uh, this one. So Browse, continue from Fowl. So uh, Car Fallen, start the game. So I obviously got to do Rise of Carthage. So Ox Hide. I got to do... Uh, the first one first before doing the third one so we are gonna do the scenarios uh, today boys that's what we're gonna do uh, for this um, last play we're gonna do the campaigns and everything that's how we're gonna uh, do our things we also have the barbarian horde I don't know what it means so fight to survive as the only civilization nation in the world filled with envious and distrustful tribe that seems like an interesting one but I want to do rise of Carthage. I want to do that one, boys, and let's have some fun. Let's do the campaign. So, found the nation of Carthage in the history uh, inspired campaign. Queen Dido lands on the shores of North Africa with her followers. Having fled the uh, Phoenician city of Tyre, where Dido's brother murdered her husband, thus, thus begin Carthage, a small colony that will have the strength uh, to strengthen its, co its economy and defenses and carve out a place for itself in history. Can you survive as a newly founded colony? And rules for the game one start with only the div divination technology, boys. So um, we got to do that. Uh, technologies cost 50% extra. No starting military units. Military units that cost training require longer to produce. You may not build wonders. Settlers rapidly increase in cost as you build more. Choose your city size carefully. And you may not enter a tribal alliance, okay? So, uh, let's jump into it. Now, one of the things I also wanted to talk to you about, boys, is the reason why I'm playing this game is because of the poll. I put up a poll a while ago. Well, not a while ago, but like two days ago or something uh, from now, uh, from when I'm recording and stuff like that. Put up a poll asking you guys, what do you want me, what do you wanted me to play uh, the most out of four games in total? And this is the one that, uh, as I'm talking right now, as I'm recording, is the most uh, asked of a game uh, for right here. And I know you guys wanted me for a long time to come back to this game, so this is why I'm coming back to it. Uh, there's another game that I'm going to probably play between the three other games. So the second game that is going to be the most voted for after that, once I come back to the vote uh, voting poll. This is the one I'm going to be playing uh, as a secondary game because I basically stopped AI Dungeon for a while. So uh, we'll see what is going to be the second game. But for now, let's focus on this one. So after Quindidio discovered a uh, brother, whatever. So we already know all of this. So in order to seize control of its destiny, the city must grow wealthy and strong. From humble beginnings, a new power will emerge uh, if the leadership can accomplish its goals. This is where work. Uh, th there is much work to do. Let's do it, boys. So welcome to the Carthage campaign. Each scenario in the campaign comes with its own goals. In the first scenario, you have 12 goals awaiting discovery. And you will have a century, 100 turns, basically, in which to pursue them. So we got a 100 years to pursue these things, boys. Complete 6 goals gets you a bronze victory. 8 goals gets you a civil victory. And 10 goals are required for a gold victory. So it's an achievement, basically. So we at least have to get six out of all these goals, boys. So let's do that. Let's do that. 
So rules for the game one, all right? Focus on completing goals in order to win. Got it. So, all right, we're starting off. First thing we're going to start off with, we're starting off, I'm going to put up the same rules as I usually do. Uh, rules I'm going to put up is every two turn, I believe, or every three turn. I'm going to put myself at every two turn, I'm going to be able to use a cheat. As simple as that, boys. Uh, so cheat is basically you go into this game editor and you can do whatever you want. All right. So that's what we're going to do. We have a no leader right now. So absolute inheritance. We're going to go to our tree. Our father was Madden. Uh, our king is dead. So our king is dead. He has been assassinated by our brother. Basically. So he's the schemer right now. We are the queen. We got to find possibly. We got our prince right here. So we do have a son. We got to probably find a, a new guy or something. Uh, a dynastic. We already have uh 300 of those so we could change it if we want dynastic is always the one i'm picking though yeah i think uh, that's the one i want to pick anyways because this is the basically the strongest your heir is the one that's directly from your line so that's what i want to go for for sure we are going to start off right away by getting our first city now what do we want to do right here uh this is going to give us uh this is going to give us it's going to tell us really quick so this is going to give us military stuff per year. This is going to give us culture, which is very important for me. Money as well is very important. We are not gaining any money. We're losing money. Uh, so maybe that would be the way to go. I think I'm going to go for uh, the Ananid uh, traders, boys, because uh, I need money right now. So I need money badly. I need to gain some. So there we go. 42 gold per turn just for that city. Uh, Required spirit. So a new court merchant has uh, joined the court. Very good. Already we got a court merchant. Uh, we got... What do we want to go for next? The first thing we want to go for, boys. I want to go for treasury, granary, slinger, quarry. Um, I'm going to go for treasury. There we go. Now, we do have a builder right here. Uh, I think what I'm going to end up doing is basically some shrines and stuff. I'm going to build the uh, this thing right here, the port. So there we go, a net. We're going to build some nests, boys. We obviously do not want to go for any other settler. Not right now, at least. What we want to go for is... Obviously, we want to go for festival. That would be great, right? Festival would be uh, great because that would give us more culture and stuff like that. A uh, console will give, uh, would give us the civics, but we have plenty of civics right now. So, I'm going to just go for this, uh, the festival. All right. That's pretty much that. We have her touring him, which is very good. We don't have any warrior units, so we can't even... Uh, we're not even a, a military... Uh, we're not even a military nation right now because we can't actually do anything with it. Uh, we do have a military nation, though. Or am I... Oh, no, this is just a scout, right? Is that a scout? I think... Yeah, it is. It is a scout. All right, so... What do we want to do ne uh, first? I'm not entirely sure. Let's uncover whatever is in here, boys, I guess. I'll cover lands in here and stuff like that. That's it. We still have plenty of turns. Well, we had one more stuff. They did change the format as well. I, I do like the way it looks. And I have something where the portraits are prettier and stuff like that. So we got prettier for, uh, portraits and all that good stuff. That's pretty much it for the first turn. Let's jump on into the second turn, boys. Kind of uh, making our things right. Uh, watching as things uh, start to enroll. We are going to be in the second turn as well. So are we the, already in the second turn? We are. So that moved up pretty quick. Uh, what we want to do right here is obviously use a cheat. But before we use any cheats, because right now we're only this. This is the citizenship. Kind of want to get, obviously, I want to get a lot of culture. So I want to get uh, upgrade my culture by one grade for sure. So that's what I'm going to use my, my cheat for. So before that, though. Let's do, uh, what is this with our son right now? What's going on? Years after the founding of Quat Azat, Queen, uh, Queen Ditto ended her life rather than be forced into marriage uh, to a tribal chieftain. Well, she just killed herself right here? For many long decades, the new city was forced to pay tribute to the local tribes for use of the land. The city's ideal position at the center of the Mediterranean Sea has afforded it many economic Opportunities, Trajan ships traveling between the Tyre and Phoenician colonies in Iberia begin, uh, began to make regular stops in Quart Azat 
immigrants flowed into the growing colony. Within its first century, new cities swelled to over uh, 30,000 uh, population, which is very good. Now, after the passing of four generations, Quart uh, Azat has erected city walls and refused to pay its tributes any longer. Malchus, the bold new king of Quart Azat, uh, which is us basically, so we are the new king, has seized lands of the tribes closest to the city, uniting the regions into an ancient metropolis. Soon, as the city's wealth grows, it uh, will even be able to uh, hire mercenary fighters from the surrounding tribes. Good. So our queen is dead. She killed herself. Uh, we got walls on our city, which is very good, and we gain a militia. That's really good. They're actually uh, giving us stuff straight from the bat. So we're already getting militia, which is good. Uh, we are obviously, can we add like, oh, it's just militia, so I can't have uh, any general and stuff like that. So we're just going to go here. And he's going to stay here. He's going to stay put. Next thing I do, so my queen is dead now, uh, I, I guess. That's uh, unfortunate, but now we are the king. We got to find uh, a wife or something. We definitely have to find a wife. First thing we're going to do, though, we are going to obviously use a cheat. So we're going to game editor, obviously. We're going to be using a cheat. Let's have some fun right here. First thing I want to do is I obviously want to get some culture. So uh, in order to upgrade, I want to go and do this right here, I think. I believe, right? Oh, hold on. Oh, I did upgrade it twice, I think. Uh, I got a downgrade, I think. Oh, okay. Well, whatever, I guess. So let's just close it. So now I upgraded it by... Uh, I upgraded it twice, I think, by accident. I guess it's fine. For the first turn, it's fine. First cheat is fine, I guess. But uh, So we just did upgrade the, uh, the, the culture. So we're going to be able to uh, build stuff a lot quicker. We uh, don't have any governors. We could uh, um, make this uh, go a little bit faster because we do have this. But I, I kind of want to see if I can't uh, get anything else like a, a religion or something. I could try and get a religion. Or maybe not. The religion is not even a thing in this game, it seems like. So it seems like this game, uh, in this game, the religion is probably not even a thing, boys. So, um, I guess nothing on that part. So, I guess we could, uh, we could, uh, use that. So, we're gonna do that. We're gonna use our culture, boys. We got plenty. We got plenty of civics. So, we're gonna use the civics in order to upgrade as fast as possible our festival things and stuff. Alright, next unit. Uh, what do we want to do with that scout? Uh, there is some Numidians right here. Probably want to talk to them or something. There's some tribes right here. Let's get some tribes. There we go. Unfair treatment. So, an emissary from the Numidian uh, rides forth under a banner of truce. The Libyan tribes near your city have been fools to ignore your growing wealth and power. Their tribute uh, demands were harsh. They have paid the price for treating you unfairly. We respect uh, that you have earned your place in this land. Now, yet we still, uh, not yet, we still, uh, the elders here. We are still the elders here, okay. Show us the respect that we are due, and our two peoples will live together as neighbors. Pay your large tribute in uh, iron to secure a more stable peace. Absolutely not. I'm not giving uh, iron to them. Pay a small tribute in money. So give them money for uh, turns. I'm not going to give them money. Refuse to pay any tribute. I'm not paying any tributes to you. Think again, buddy. What the hell do you think you do? You are, man? If you think I'm going to pay you any tributes, think again. All right. So uh, I'm just going to continue to move on right here. Uh, gaining, gaining money every time we're uncovering stuff as well, which is very good. Uh, we do have... Oh, we have something. An event right here. I'm just going to go here, though, and harvest some horses right there. So use uh, one of my few turns left. All right, so that's pretty much it for the second turn right here, boys. Nothing else. Kind of want to go for a uh, a worker. Not a worker, but uh, we got militia now. I kind of want to go eventually for the, the warrior unit. Would be very good. So we're in the, now we're in turn three. So it goes very fast. The turns are going very fast. It's actually really good because you don't need to focus on anybody else. So uh, we don't have an heir and we don't have a spouse just yet. This is not good. Can, uh, can I marry this girl? I, c I should probably marry this girl. Marry king. Yeah, I should probably do that because... Okay, so if if in the next turn I don't f I don't have any wife or any events on that matter, I'm going to have to do something about it because uh, I can't just sit there and wait for something to happen. Alright, I need a... 
I need a wife. I need to. I need kids, boys. I need my dynasty to survive. So, uh, what do we want next? I guess festival. Let's keep going for festivals. Uh, I think that's the best course of option right here, obviously. So we're just going to do festival. We're going to upgrade it with the civics, which puts us now at um, next turn. We're going to have festival two done, uh, just like that. So uh, now what? We have basically our worker unit. So our worker unit, before we do anything with that, I do want my scout. I want my scout to go over here. Boom. There we go. So landmark discovered. Ores Mountains. Uh, our explorers find a family of starving lore keepers uh, and camp in the ruins, surviving on scraps, pleading for help. They offer to share the mystery of oratory in exchange for food. Uh, we will feed them. There we go. And get a technology from that. So we get a, a, a free technology, boys. Good. Really good. We're going to harvest this. Harvest the camels right here, boys. And we're just going to keep on covering stuff right here. There we go. So it seems like the medians are going to be our main target. As soon as I've got, um, I can do stuff with my warrior unit probably, uh, properly, right? I'm going to do uh, that. I'm going to head out towards them. So uh, the militia is not going to be able to do too much, but at least we're going to be able to declare war to them or do something, you know, uh, something interesting. Still ten, 10 turns. Another 10 turns, boys, for uh, administration. Uh, let's do the tech tree really quick because we did unlock, uh, we did unlock something. Uh, rhetoric is that what we unlocked i believe we did i think we unlocked uh, rhetoric that's what he gave us uh the guys so that's really good we unlocked forum from that and epics uh basically so that's really good and exploration as well so exploration is really good all right let's keep it going boys i'm just going to keep doing that i guess no not iron working i wanted the uh, uh, administration there we go so that means now that uh yeah we got forums so now we can go for forums upgrade like our civics per turn we're getting a lot of like pretty good amount of civics per turn already and we're getting a lot of money so that's really good eventually we're going to be able to, be able to actually use that money for a even better stuff uh, i'm just going to go here right here and get some nests continue to get some nests right here like really upgrade our ports as much as possible we've got sardinia right here so you can see the land of sardinia uh so italy is right there let me see really quick. So we are basically in Africa right now, obviously. Uh, we got festival. So festival is giving us uh, a lot of culture per year. It's giving us extra culture per year. Uh, and it's also giving us like happiness and stuff. People are um, pretty happy, I believe. It's giving us growth, right? It's giving us gro growth, instant growth. And it's giving us happiness, though. Uh, this content is going uh, up. Well, it's fine, I guess. I'm gonna go for forum now, though. Definitely gonna go for forum. Uh, I still got. I got. I require patrons. I gotta use the get the patron thing, uh, technology in order to buy stuff, which is fine. All right, so we're gonna use now. Uh, we haven't got uh, a queen just yet, so we're just gonna. We can't marry her. Oh, ne last time we could. Oh, oh, we need civics for that. Okay, for next turn we're gonna be able to do that. There we go. We're gonna be able to do that next turn. So um, let me look, uh, take a look at my uh, not that, but my tree. So he's 29 years of age. My uncle. I'm 23. Well, I'll hold. Wait, 23, 28. So that means she got me. My mother got me. When I was pregnant at six years old or five years old. That makes no sense. She mu He must have been adopted. That guy must have been adopted or something. There is no way that this is a thing right here. There's just no way, boys. Hmm, that's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. All right, let's use a let's use a, a cheat. Do I want to do culture again? I don't think I want to do culture. Probably want to upgrade forms, but then at the same time, I kind of want to get a tech, a technology. So I kind of want to get the uh, the technology I need, right? So. Uh, stone cutting i'm i'm working on divination right now so let's just make it so that we have divination right away we're working on administration I'm, i made a mistake boy so that's not the one i want the one i want is text so cl no 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 just, oh man i'm pressing the wrong stuff so i don't want alpha there we go uh divination nope administration is the one i want right there there we go so I got it now. So I got uh, administration just like that. We uh, created that cheat code to have that. Now what can we go for right here? Warrior. 
for quarries or slingers, I'm going to go for warrior unit. We obviously are going to need that. Iron working is going to be very important, boys, along the way. Uh, now we're going to use our warrior unit. We're going to send him, well, our militia unit. We're going to send him over here. We are also going to use our scout. So we have four more stuff that we can do. Guess, uh, just use my scout. Libyan desert. Legitimacy up, boys, because we uncovered a new land. And we're just going to keep on covering lands with our scout right here. There we go. That's all he's going to do. And he, every time I uncover stuff, he gets um, like materials and all, which is very good for us. So, so far, we're doing pretty good. We got a lot of land to cover as well, though. I am going to need to start probably getting a builder or something. Probably going to have to work on that as well, boys. Okay, so um, now that we are in the fifth turn, I can go ahead and marry this girl. So I'm going to do it right away. I'm going to use all my civics. And plus two turns, basically, plus two uh, orders. And we are now married to her. Which means... Wait, are we? I think in the next turn, it's going to be official. So we're going to marry her. So it's active, yeah. So in the next turn, it's probably going to happen. So we're going to be married to her, which is very good. Exactly what we wanted. Uh, we still have the form right here. So uh, still working on the forms. We've got two of population right here. Citizen so two, boys. Which is uh, very good. Very good indeed. So what is our objective right here? We do have to take a look at our objectives really quick. Um, we do have the Numidians. Okay, the tribes. What is our actual objectives? Alright, so my goals. These are my goals right here, boys. So these are the ones I got to uh, accomplish. Remember, I got to get six of those within 100 years. We're already turned five. And we're going to turn 100. So uh, I got to get another technology. So I got to just research another technology, which is uh, an easy enough thing, uh, I guess. So I definitely want to use every turn as much as possible to upgrade my goals. I want to use my next cheat to upgrade uh, iron working as well. I think I'm going to make it though so that I can actually use two cheats uh, now per two turns. So it's basically a cheat every turn. Every turn we can use a cheat basically. I think that's what I'm uh, I'm gonna make it. Uh, so, because uh, otherwise it's gonna be, uh, you know what? Actually, not uh, not do that. Every three turns, I'm gonna make it so it's every three turns. So say it was uh, I already did two cheats, so it was basically for turn three. Say I did my two cheats already. So turn six, I'm gonna be able to do a cheat, uh, two cheats again. Uh, so I'm going to do them. Uh, so I'm going to do uh, iron working. I'm going to do, I'm going to upgrade iron working. I'm going to be able to uh, do something else as well. So uh, first thing first, we got some uh, uh, people to uh, move up. We're going to go right here. I want to attack these guys badly. So I'll proceed with war preparations. Let's uh, declare war on them. There we go. So we're going to declare war on them, boys. We're going to attack them. I'm going to start attacking them because I want to get territories. I want to do stuff like that. So uh, my scout is going to continue to move forward. We're going to harvest those things right here. And continue to move. Hulk Woodlands. There we go. Uncovered, boys. We got a bunch of stuff right here. All right. So that's done. So we're covering more land uh, the, more we, uh, the more we go along. So let's skip to the next turn right away. There we go. It's done. Good news. Oligarch Birich, the merchant, has agreed to your marriage proposal. Uh, she is now my queen, boys. There we go. So now we got her as a queen, and she's always... She's in my court still. So now we're going to be... Uh, hopefully going to be able to get some uh, some children. Uh, she's got four charisma and four discipline. And since she's part of my tree, upgrades every, oh, my overall things. So really good, boys. All right, so now... I think it's time to uh, use our cheats, obviously. Oh, we... Look at that. Yeah, they're going to hurt us big, uh, big time. All right, me just use my... I, I just want to take out this place right here. So that's all I want to do. I guess what I want to do right here is build up my city as much as possible. Uh, I want to get, obviously... So first thing we're going to do, we're going to use our cheats really quick, boys. So we are going to do um, iron working. There we go. That is done now. So iron working is completed. We can get warrior units right now, which is much better. We're going to go for stone cutting, boys. We're going to go for stone cutting. Now, two technologies. I did it. 
I think what I want to do is uh, build up this stuff right here. Whatever is going on here, I want to build up my city as much as possible. So, uh, what do I want to build up right here? Say, if I close this, what does it say here I could build? I'm not entirely sure. I could probably just get another builder. That's probably sure what I should do, boys. So, just get a, another builder or something. So, uh, text, not really. Cities, owners. There we go. We're going to a units, boys. And what we want to do is... We want to get another worker or something like that. I think another worker would be great for us. So we definitely want to go for that. So let's go for a uh, worker right here. Or do we want to go for a warrior unit? Because we're at war with the Numidians right now. So that would probably be the best idea, right? I don't know. Working on my city seems like the best idea right now. So let's actually do that. Let's, uh, let's get a worker instead right here. I'm population. I'm citizen two right now. Kind of want to get a settler going right there. I think a settler having another city really would help me out. So, you know, well, I want to work on my city first. Let's work on my city first, on this city first, boys. So, we're going to just put uh, a worker right here. There we go. There's a worker. Build mine, build farm, build a shrine. Uh, I think uh, we, we want to build some shrines. Mine's not really... Yeah, I don't care about mines too much. Build uh, a farm is good enough. Uh, I, I'm going to go here. There I go. And I'm going to build some shrines. So HP per year would be great, actually. HP per year is very good. But uh, money. Money, boys. Uh, culture and money would be very good. Let's uh, do the Shrine of Tanif. There we go. We're going to do the Shrine of Tanif. It's going to take four turns for that. And that is uh, fantastic. So that's pretty much it for us. We already did our thing with the militia, so all we need to do now is our scouts. We're gonna go here. We uncovered barbarians, so harvest some gems right here. We're, we're gonna go here and still uncover more land. There we go, keep uncovering more and more. There we go, officially we uncovered the entire uh, sector of this land. We got the barbarians, obviously we got a, we're at war with them. Uh, my militia unit is probably going to get destroyed, boys, but it's uh, fine, I guess. I'm uh, willing to live with that. So, unwise and often absurd. Queen, uh, con my queen is uh, is foolish now, so that's uh, she's upset. I don't know what happened, boys. I guess a new hair. What is this? Oh, we got a oh, nice princess Dido. Oh, we made Dido going to prosper. There we go. We got a little daughter, boys. So we got our Princess Dido. Named her after her mother, I guess. Interesting. Uh, build a shrine. Do we want to build shrines? Sure. Build as many shrines as possible, boys. So uh, build a shrine of Melkar. That would give us money and culture. Kind of want growth a little bit too, though. We kind of want to upgrade the growth as much as possible. Uh, I'm going to do uh, as fun. I think mines would be good as well. But uh, let's do... Let's do this one, the, uh, the the shrine right here, another shrine, boys. Make as many shrines as possible. Got my scouts is struggling a little bit, getting attacked by the barbarians. Uh, next up, my militia. Yeah, my militia unit uh, is dead. Uh, so now we actually have a daughter. But uh, for some reason, my queen went like uh, stupid or something. I don't know what happened to her, but I guess uh, it didn't uh, help her at all to have a child or something. So uh, now it's going to be in turn 9 we're going to be able to do something, boys. Or maybe I should just change it again. Just change my gimmick again and make it so every time I get a, a, a free thing to do. I think I'm going to do that. Every time I'm going to get a, a, a thing I'm going to be able to do. So let me see really quick. I guess it's cheating a little bit, but I don't have a, a choice right here. So and now I'm going to get a warrior unit for sure. I need a warrior unit. So I'm going to spawn him right here. There we go. Spawn a warrior unit right here. We are going to add a general. Obviously, my king. Which one is better? Which one is better equipped right now? I think my king should be the one to uh, deal with this. So he's going to rage war against uh, the Numidians and stuff like that. So that's going to be my turn's cheat. Uh, we're also going to send, uh, well, I guess my spy over here, my scout, just to harv harvest these horses. We're going to go here. And we're going to heal up real quick with my scout. And uh, next up, naval supremacy. What is this? So the uh, to date, Port Ashdash has followed the example of the motherland 
of the great Phoenician city of Tyre. Using wealth alone to control over our destiny, yet Tyre resides at one end of the vast Mediterranean Sea, while Card uh, Atash sits uh, astride the, um, the middle of the sea. From this position, the most, prof most profitable trade routes pass through Carthaginian waters. Uh, while naval power could be projected to anywhere, the future will belong to the greatest naval power. For who can manage any, imagine anyone being able to arm an empire who cannot defeat at sea? Exactly, it cannot be defeated. Armies could not even reach us. Building uh, the largest, most skilled, most powerful navy will be the key to our succession. Co construct three Byrams. Brand new, uh, brand new gold, boys. So we gotta construct three Byrams now. Uh, I got you. Still gotta get the technologies as well. For some reason, the other one didn't count. So I guess I got you on that one. All right, so we're, we're gonna stop it right here, boys. We're gonna do 30 minute videos for these because this is gonna be a short campaign right here. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.